president in 1983 at the State of the Union address that the then President Reagan did discuss the idea of an uh, umbrella of high technology weapon systems that can protect the United States. Uh, my understanding that that grew out of uh, conviction amongst a number of his, his top scientific advisors like Edward Teller that we had reached a point where the technology was there that such an umbrella might be possible. The SDI shield is his vision that you, know, you could break up the flight of a ballistic missile into three parts. There's a boost phase when the warheads are still on the missile and you have a relatively hot, hard body that's, that's boosting up from the launch site. It deploys the missiles, what's called mid-course, and when the warheads are separated from the missile body and perhaps warheads, and, and the mixture of warheads and decoys. And then there's the final, the end game, when the warheads are re-entering the atmosphere over the target country. I think it's really relatively obvious that what you really want to do is intercept the warheads before they've been deployed off of the missile, the hard body, before they've had a chance to deploy decoys, and when uh, all the nuclear material or biological or whatever weapons of mass destruction might be in the warhead are not going to continue on a ballistic path towards your country or fall back or fall back on the enemy's nation. One of the things that, you know, the laws of physics is the body in motion, continues in motion. Once you've launched something on a ballistic trajectory, even if you hit it and, and damage it, it's still going to come in your direction. And if there's some kind of toxic material on board, it's still going to come down on your country. It's much better to have it come down on the enemy's country than 